and welcome to Fire Tech Talk, the Brooks Equipment video series where we discuss everything from products all the way to codes and regulations. I'm your host, Jacob Duncan, here today with Charlie Sullivan. Charlie, it's great to have you on. Thank you. Absolutely. So today what we're going to be doing is discussing fire investigations, which are technically called origin and cause investigations. So my first question for you, what is an origin and cause investigation and why do we have them? Investigators need to come in and determine where the fire originated, what caused the fire, and this is why we have these types of investigations. So it starts at the inception, the fire department gets the call, they come out and they're going to determine was the fire intentional, was it unintentional or accidental, and that will determine how their investigation moves forward. So if the fire investigators come out from the fire department and they determine it was an intentional fire, arson, they're going to move forward with an investigation on their, on their end and eventually they will release that case after they've made their final determination. Then the insurance company will step in with their own experts and they're going to take it to another level to turn is there anybody else who may be in fault here, somebody we can point a finger at? And it's not so much pointing a finger, but can the insurance company get any money back from other companies? So if they can lower what they may be paying out, they're going to try and get other people to pony up some money and bring it to a different level where it starts to be an equal playing field. Are origin and cause investigations done after every fire, or is it only if there is suspected criminality? A fire investigation is conducted after every reported fire. So if the fire department gets called out, there will be some type of investigation to determine what happened. If it's a little trash can fire or something like that, it probably goes no further. But if it's a larger fire, if there's a lot of damage, then the investigation will move forward. And again, they're going to look at intentional or unintentional. What are the steps in completing a origin and cause investigation? Where do you start the process and who all is involved? The fire department starts the process when they arrive at the scene. They want to determine the, the area of origin. So they're going to look carefully at everything. They're going to determine where did the fire start? Was it intentional? So they may start looking for accelerants or was it unintentional, accidental? At that point, most fire department's investigations stop there, the scene is released, and it gets turned over to the insurance companies. At that point, the investigation starts moving in a different direction, and you'll have an expert for the insurance company who comes into the scene. He determines, are there any other potential players here? Anybody else who may have been involved that this is a reason? Did we have an appliance fail? Did we, was there a leaky gas line? Did we have bad electrical wiring? They want to determine, is there somebody else that there's, you know, possibly that some blame can be pointed at. So what are some examples of common problems in an origin and cause investigation? In a fire investigation, one of the common problems is when we first get involved with the scene, things have been altered. So we arrive at the scene and let's say it's on a cooking line, appliances have been pulled out and they've been moved around the kitchen, the filters, the grease filters and the hood have been removed, they haven't been numbered, we don't know where they were. So a lot of things get moved around. It's really hard for an investigator, you know, we, we may be looking for a burn pattern on an appliance and then we don't know where the appliance initially was. Now we start relying on the fire department who may have taken pictures and we start to recreate the scene from their pictures. In some cases, we don't have pictures. We start looking at inspection reports from service companies. Where were these things based on your reports? And we start to put things back in place and try and recreate the scene as best we can. But the biggest drawback is alteration of the scene after the fire. Thank you so much for spending this time today and teaching me as well as our audience about the subject and the work that you do. So thank you again. You're welcome, Jake. Absolutely. And thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Thank you.